Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Chop Strand Audio. This is video number 10 in my video tutorial series about the Roland TIS Rhythm Performer. Today I want to show you how to import a sample via SD card. Alright, first you have to load a sample onto your SD card. To do that, put the SD card in your computer, tap and open the Roland folder. Open the TRLS folder, then you three, see three folders. Choose sample folder, then inside the sample folder make a new folder for you where you want to put your sample. I choose OP1. Open the folder and load your sample into that folder. In my case it is the super low synth sample. All right, then stick your SD card in the back side of the Roland TRS. Press utility and turn the value knob until you see import. That was the wrong way. <laughs> import. Now press enter and now you can choose between file and folder. In our case we want to import a single file. When you want to import a whole folder, let's say the OP1 folder in my case, you choose the OP1 folder and the Roland TLS will import the whole folder. But for today we are only importing one sample. That means press file and choose through your folders your folder. In our case it's the OP1 folder. Press enter and now you see your samples in that folder. Use the value knob turn. Now you see our sample super low synths. Press enter. Now you have to turn the value knob to OK. Press enter and the Roland TLS will import the sample. Alright, complete it. Now our sample is loaded. In our case, it's this. All right. I want to assign our last channel with our new sample. For that, I will delete everything what I have here and press stop. Now you see our last channel is selected. Press instrument. Now turn the value knob all the way until you see import. Ah, import. There it is, super low synth. That's it. Press start and stop. And now I assign our new sample. And now you can tweak the sound. Press start and stop. I have another tip for you. When you want to import a sample, you actually can preview the sample before it's loaded into the machine. To do that, press utility again. Choose import. 
select your sample like let's say the single file or whole folder in our case it's a file again choose whatever you want in our case I choose the same folder again but not our super low synth so let's say spur 3 and now you see sample is blinking you can actually press sample And you can preview your sample before it's loaded into the computer. That's really handy. That's not. All right, that's it. When you have a question, leave a comment, I will answer it. Then thanks for watching and have a good day. See you later.